Shalom, this is GMS Holland Sit Downs coming back with a lesson. I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rukha Gadash, the bonds to the elder apostle of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect out there that is spreading this word of society and a true follow of the four corners of the earth. Come real quick, first of the day. Um, blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. And that's real, man. Like, I'm seeing this truth, man. We're going through things that a regular Jake in the world is not dealing with. We, we, we going through things that regular folks in the world is not dealing with because the spiritual pressure comes with it. The people of this world, they are already after Satan. So Satan has no reason to spiritually pressure them because they are already on his side. But for the people that are trying to do the best they can for Yahweh Shem Shai, Satan puts that spiritual pressure on them. When you're irritated, when you're vexed, you know Satan always put this extra heap upon your uh, upon your uh, distress, man. Satan always adds a little bit extra to it for you to 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 want to get carnal, man. You know, so we are really we really are in a state of mourning, man, knowing and understanding that this, this that this society is not created for us, knowing and understanding that. Everything is out of order. Everything is out of balance. Females that so that like to call you uh, 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 their husband, like to call themselves your wife, are not are not acting that way. You know, they just do what the fuck they want to do. They just do whatever they like. You know, which is not the right and correct order, man. So everything is a vexation of spirit. Really, everything that we see around us is vexation of spirit. Uh, 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 uh. Besides the brotherhood, man. Besides the brotherhood, I remember my ex demon, man. What she was, what she was always telling me is like, uh, the only time I see you laugh is when you're amongst your brothers and stuff like that, in pictures, you know, in videos, because that's really the only time that, that we feel at at uh, at rest, man. You might be with your kids. You know, you might have, have beautiful children, but then the mother of the children be bugging out, stressing you, you know, for no reason, man. And and, the, and that that's the thing that, that stresses you the most. Like, there's, there's no fucking problem, man. When there's no fucking problem, don't make no problem out of it, neither. But guess what? Satan does. That's all the work of Satan, man. He be like, oh, you, you kind of kind of calm today I don't like it let's let's put some stress stress within you and it is what it is man so I'm telling y'all like this is our portion scripture says this is our portion you got to deal with the, with the situation but sometimes man I'm telling you you just tired man you just tired really if you are at ease in this kingdom if you if you have what you what you need and if you're not uh, stressed if you if you are comfortable in this in this hellhole really then um, you're not desirous to enter into the kingdom man really then this is your kingdom man that's why the scripture says this Luke chapter 6 verse 21 blessed are ye that hunger now yeah we are full of hunger man we we desire we desire to eat things that that are not in our reach yet we desire to have things that we don't have now you might have you might have a family you know you might have have your children you might be still with your woman but really that comfort and that and that ease is not there man we, that's what we desire man we, we desire to enter into that ease we desire to enter into that rest man but it's not there so we are hungry for that we are hungry for that. That's why we rejoice like that when we see prophecies come to pass. That's why we get happy, man. But then again, we see our people in this fucked up state of mind still doing what the fuck they want. Pro protesting for fucking black people 
that don't even exist because the nobody on the planet Earth is black. If you look at the state of your people, you 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 find yourself get more miserable uh, uh, than um, than you already are when you look at your own situation, man. When you look at the situation of the nation, that 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 will will irritate you even more, man. So we are mourning. We are in a state of mourning, man. We are in a state of hunger. We are hungry, man. We want the shit to stop, and we want to eat. We want to breathe in uh, uh, normal oxygen, normal uh, air. We want to. We want to drink uh, 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 good water. We want to eat good food, non-GMO. We don't want to look at at packages and, and be like, okay, yeah, let me put this back. Let me put this back. No, I can't have this. Can't have that. We don't want that shit no more, man. You see? But the scripture says, blessed are ye that hunger for now. Blessed are ye that hunger now. So what is that? That's that comfort, man. You are blessed. If you are now in a state, state of mind that you are sick and tired of this hellhole, you are blessed, man. That's really, that's really what it is. If you are in a state of hunger right now, you are blessed, man. Because that means that, that through, to your spirit, this is not your rest, man. You are not at ease in this wicked society, man. It's a blessing, man, for you not to be at ease in this wicked society now. You see? For ye shall be filled. We are going to be filled soon, man. Soon, Yahweh Hashem Shai. It's gonna let the kingdom come and enter and let us enter into our rest man but we gotta stay patient man we gotta stay patient we gotta keep our heads up man and look towards the salvation that cometh from the east man it's gonna come from the east and and then again man yesterday more than 20 chariots appeared again it's the new moon today you know, yesterday night, we saw more than 20 chariots, man. It's beautiful to see, man. It's beautiful to see, but we really want to go out of here, man. We really want to go out of here. We want to, we want this place to stop, man. We want the former house to be destroyed, man. And, and we want to enter into the latter house. Because this, this, this house that we are living in, which represents this kingdom, is full of wickedness, man. So the scripture says what? Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. And we desire that day, man, that we are going to be filled. We desire that day that we don't have to worry about tomorrow, man. We don't have to worry about tomorrow, what tomorrow is going to bring. Because when, whenever you think that you are in a fucked up predicament, man, Satan cometh around the corner, man, and make it even worse for you, make it even harder for you. That's, that's the thing, man. That's Satan's job. You can't go around him, man. He's just there. He's just there, man. Like Job, man. Even Job. Job did whatever he could to be righteous in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. And, and Satan still pulled up on him. But he took, he took it as a man. He took it as a man. That's why we, before we can be a man, be, before we can be man of the Lord, we got to be man first, man. Learn how to deal with situation, situations and just take it, man. Just deal with it, man. Fuck it. Sometimes you get very, very angry. Believe me, I know what it feels like to be angry, man. But hey, if we are not angry right now, then we are not going to be happy when we enter into his rest, man. We got to be an angry right now because that means that you're in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai if you're angry. But there's a way to control it, man. We got to learn to be temperate. We got to learn to be in control over our emotions. We got to learn to deal with situations and just, just let it slide sometimes, man. Turn off that, that, that switch of emotions. Which that's the thing, man. That's why, man, I told the brother a couple of weeks ago, like, hey... If, if brother, if, if if Jake's in the world, man, would would have to deal with some some things that I see happening to brothers in this camp, man, they would fucking lose it, man. They would they would start killing people, man. They would start killing people, man, because why? They they don't have that switch to begin with. 
they don't have that switch of uh, to turn off their emotions and to just be like, you know what, fuck it. You do whatever you want and you do it the way that you think is good for you. We know Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is going to have a recompense laying down right there for you, man. We know that. So let me read it again, man. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep, for ye shall laugh. So don't think it's strange that we are weeping, man. Don't try to change the situation and work for for a, a better life because there is not going to be any, man, until Yahweh Hashem Shai allows it to come. We are still under these devils. We are still not at ease under these devils. You don't want to be at ease under these devils because that means that you are comfortable by the way things are going right now. And you shouldn't be comfortable by the way things are going right now because this kingdom doesn't belong to these devils. This kingdom doesn't belong for, to, to, these, to these nigga bitches that think they can do what the fuck they want, man. It doesn't belong unto them. For now, this kingdom is in the hand of Eve, which is the so-called black woman, and, and Esau, man, which is the so-called white man. Now, you are you content with that? Are you content with the nigga bitch telling you that you, that, that you need to hurry the fuck up when you're on the toilet, man? Do you, are you content? I say this because this shit happened yesterday to a brother. A brother was on the toilet and this, this nigga bitch was slamming on the door because her husband, who was a so-called white man, had to take a leak or whatever. So the brother, he, he, he flipped out, man. Because that's the society that we are in right now, man. A nigga bitch think she can she can say whatever you want just because you you a Jake, man. And she has a so-called white man as a husband. That's the shit that, hey, man, you see my spirit, my spirit get, gets roused up immediately, man. Then then these other these other demons called uh, uh, Jake females, they think that it's right to, to withhold the seed of a man, which is his children. They think it's right to withhold it, withhold them from, from, from the uh, father, man. All those things are going to be recompensed, man. That's why the scripture says, if you reap him right now, don't worry about it because soon you're going to laugh, man. Soon you're going to laugh. These mothers out there that are trying to withhold the children of, of fathers and men that are pushing this truth for your Yahweh Shai, they're going to be in a... Hey, man, they're going to catch hell soon, man. They're going to catch hell soon. If you're doing wicked deeds towards a man that's pushing his word for your Hashem Yahushai and you manipulate uh, 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 you are manipulative and you uh, and you set his children against him and you don't want to uh, want to coincide with this man and the situation that he is in your Hashem Yahushai has, a, has a, a, a beautiful surprise for you man he has a surprise for you in those days and that should be fuel for you man out there also that are going through these things to push even harder man to please your Bashim Yahshai even more to the best of your ability because hey the things that you're dealing with, with right now need to be recompensed man and your Bashim Yahshai is righteous like that to recompense those that trouble you let me grab that real quick so wh whoever is troubling you right now is gonna get judged for that man Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is not down with these people touching uh, the apple of his eye. Now, who is the apple of his eye? His, his nation. But then you have the elect out of his chosen people that he is dealing with. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation unto them that trouble you. So whoever is troubling you now in this wicked society of kingdom, of, of uh, this wicked society of, um, of Esau, this, these devils, man, whoever is troubling you is going to get God for that, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to unleash anguish and death and destruction upon these people, man. And, and we're going to see who they're going to run to in those days, man. We're going to see... 
who they gonna run to in those days. So recompense is coming to those that troubled us and are troubling us even to this day. Who is mainly, which is mainly Eve, the so-called black woman, and Esau, man, the so-called white man, which already goes back to to uh, to the Garden of Eden, man. Because by the woman came sin into the world, man. What does the scripture say? I find more bitter than any wickedness, the wickedness of a woman. The wickedness of a woman su su supersedes everything on the planet Earth, man. If she, if she has wicked intentions, she will do it, man. She will do whatever she can to make you feel fucked up. And <laughs> the funny thing is, Sometimes these females they know not to fuck with you because you are doing the weird work of your Hashem Yahshai, right? Sometimes these females like they know that they shouldn't fuck around with you because your Hashem Yahshai is with the man of the Lord. But then, but then Satan still increases their spirit to do so, man. That that should that should also tell you like, hey, regardless of what you try or how you try and deal with these with these beasts. They're gonna do whatever they can anyway, man. They're gonna do it anyway, man. They're gonna do their nonsense anyway, man. Don't worry about it, man. Just keep it moving. Just keep it moving, man. Al Bashim Al Shah is gonna take of all, take care of all your sorrows, all your weeping, all your distress, all your afflictions. Al Bashim Al Shah is gonna change it into joy, happiness, rest. Beauty, laughter. Yahabashim Yahshai is gonna transition all those feelings, man, into good feelings. Luke 6 and 21 again. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when ye shall and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake yeah this this demon this ex-demon of mine see she just a couple of minutes ago man she said like um uh, my words the words that i say make her sick and uh what what's what else she said the words that i say make her sick and she gets so extremely vexed by me because those demons those demons, they don't like the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man. Those demons that are upon upon these people of the world, they, they don't like you, man. They don't like you. They don't know what it is, but they just don't like you, man. Everything they say and do has to go against your will, man. Because they are according to the world. And Yahweh Rataza, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Rataza, we are of the Spirit, man. And we walk in the Spirit and we stay in the Spirit, man. That's what we pray for. We pray that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai doesn't take the spirit away from us. Because this is all we got, man. Men, men and brethren, we, we we forsake, we forsake everything for this truth. So we pray Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, give us what we need in due time, man, and, and wipe away our tears from our eyes, man. Because next to then like I said, man, like the, the affliction and the sorrow that, that's being passed upon you because we we have to deal with, the, with, the, with, with these nigga bitches, man. With these so-called black females. The, the sorrows that comes with that is, is on top of the, the wearing out of the saints that Esau is doing, man. That's another thing, man. It's in uh, Where Are the Saints. It's in Daniel. Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. And it says, And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Isn't Esau speaking great words against the Most High? Isn't, isn't he being proud, a proud demon? That's what, that's what it is, man. Pride comes from, from Satan, man. So when you see when you see these Jake females, these so-called Jake females, because they're they aren't acting like Jacob descendants, man. They are acting like like uh, daughters of Satan, man. For real, man. That's what they are, man. That's what they're acting like. 
ok? On top of that bullshit, we have to deal with Esau that's wearing out the scenes, man. Being proud as fuck. Also because of what? He's the, he, 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 Satan is on their side, man. Satan is on the side of the so-called white people. That's why they're acting like that, man. That's why they're always proud. That's why they're always sneaky. That's why they're always skillful to deceive. Acting like they are your friend. And guess what? Our people are be are being deceived by them each and every day, man. Oh, yeah, you have some good white people laughing with them and shit like that without without feeling that true hatred inside because, to, to be honest, man, I, I laugh with these devils because of why? The scripture says, because of what? It's lucky because of why? Because of what? The scripture says, if it be possible, be at peace with all men. And therefore be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. That's that's the state that we have to be in right now, man. When I go to my job, I put on my, uh, my polar bear suit. When, I, when I'm going home, exactly. Cling, cling, that's right. <laughs> that sound that you hear, that was, the, that, that was the, the confirmation, man. I put on my polar bear suit driving to work. When I, when I come home, I take it off, man. And I'm a grizzly bear again, a Jacob descendant. Be myself, man. Can be myself again. Because I don't agree with the bullshit that I see each and every day, man. I don't agree with these with these bitches that that put up that you have to put up with all that bullshit, man. I don't I don't agree with that neither, man. If we weren't in the situation, man, swift judgment would be passed, man. So y'all bashim y'all shy will make us will make us the true officers, kings, and and police policemen in the kingdom man we gonna we gonna pass judgment man in the name of your abashim you shy you think you do you do you really believe that you as a female as a jake female are allowed to lay hands upon your man man do you really think that do you think that you as a jake female are allowed to talk to talk the way they talk nowadays to jake do you think that that that's allowed man that your abashim you shy likes to see that Scripture says females ought to cover their heads because of the angels. The angels want to see you cover your head, which shows respect towards your husband. Now, what, what these females think is that when, when they cover their head, then that, okay, that's it. No, now put it in work. From the outward appearance, it might seem you, uh, that you're humble, but now do it from the inward too, man. Show your husband respect. When you go to certain places, you communicate with him. If you don't have the skill to communicate, you're a piece of shit, man. Because you that that means you that make is gonna make you proud. That's gonna make Satan enter into you. I don't have to tell him what I'm gonna do. He's not my boss. Oh, but when when Esau when Esau is your husband, oh, uh, uh, honey, do you think it's okay if I go there and there? And he treats you like a damn slave. Because that's really what you are, man, if you deal with these, with these so-called white people. As a Jake female. It's pathetic, man. And that's something to get sick of. That's something to get sick of, man. Holding their babies in your hand like, like, like they gods, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. This, this society is vexing to the bone, man. Vexing to the bone. That's all I gotta say, man. We need to get up out of here, man. So, like I said, on top of Esau, his bullshit, wearing out the saints daily, we have to deal with all these other afflictions, man. All these other afflictions. Don't make no babies with these Jake females, man. They're gonna terrorize your life, man. They are, they are, a, they are a gate unto Satan to to get at you, man. To get at you. That, that goes for the younger brothers in this truth, man. Don't deal with these females, man. Just stay single. Deal with your Yahweh Shem Shai, man. If you need to pop a woman, go to the host, man. Go to the host and pop a woman over there. You know, because you're going to spend money on these hoes anyways. I'm talking about these females, which, equals to, uh, which are equal to hoes, man. They had multiple dicks in themselves, too. They ain't no different than these prostitutes, man. 
they ain't no difference. You're gonna waste money on them too. So you might as well just waste it on a hoe that just that's just a quick fuck. Fuck out of here with these bitches, man. Waste of time. They are a waste of time. Just keep it moving, man. Fucking duck them. Cause they ain't no women. If you pay attention to our videos, man, you can hear that we don't call these females women. Because what's a woman? A woman is a female servant. She does what she 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 has to do and she listens to her husband. If she doesn't do that, she ain't a woman, man. She a bitch. And that's according to the scriptures. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. What is a female dog? It's a bitch, man. So like I said, on top of Esau's bullshit, all these other things come, man. This is Daniel chapter 7 verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. That's, that's Esau, man, being a proud devil that he is. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And that's happening each and every day, man. Jake is getting wear, wearied, man. Jake is getting worn out, man. On the job, trying to keep himself under control, trying to be temperate. Not flipping the fuck out. Because you're just angry, man. You're just angry. You just want to take measures in your own hand, man. Sometimes. But that's where the peace of mind comes in again, man. Like the scripture says. Ephesians 4 and 26. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. That means don't stay angry for too long. Don't let the sun... <coughs> Don't worry about it. It's not. It's not the police. <laughs> it's this thing. It's this uh, flashlight in here. If I drive too fast, then uh, I will get a ticket. That's another thing, man. That's another thing, man. Payments. All these payments in this devil society, they heap treasures unto themselves. But guess what? He shall vomit them up, man. The Most High is not the, gonna allow this any longer, man. Esau soon gonna vomit up all the things that he took from, from us and is still taken, man. You have to realize, your money is gone before it even reaches your bank account. Esau already took money from you before it reaches your bank account, man. That's crazy shit, man. From your hard-working labor, he already takes money, man. He already takes money. That's, that's the crazy shit, man. Talking about you're gonna earn, you're gonna earn three thousand. <coughs> Talking about you're gonna, slacky. Let me turn this shit off, man. Talking about you're gonna make three thousand euros a month. Get the fuck out of here, man. Bruto. Here in Europe, we call it bruto, which means the tax still needs to go off. So that's not what you earn. Why the fuck you telling me this is what I'm gonna gonna earn, gonna earn, man? That's not what you're gonna earn, man. Just tell me, just be straight with me and tell me what I'm gonna earn, man. Stop playing around, man, because this society is all about playing around, man. This society is all about playing around, man. So many things that, that, that make you angry in the society. Sometimes you want to flip out. Sometimes you want to scream, man. But like I said, that's where the temperance comes in, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahusha is going to take care of us very soon. Like I said, your anger is going to turn into laughter, man. We're going to see who laughs at the end, man. We're going to see who laughs at the end. Let me grab Proverbs real quick and close it out. Proverbs chapter 1. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 1 verse 24 Because I have called and you refused How is the Lord calling unto our people Through the man of the Lord And then on top of that you want to dis disrespect those men Yahweh Bashem Yahusha is not content with that man What happened to Miriam That spoke wickedly towards um, Towards uh, Moses man The heavenly father said Do you even realize what you are doing You are talking like this to a, to a man with whom I speak face to face. Do you even realize what the hell you are doing, man? Same is going on nowadays, man. You have men out there that are doing the work for Yahweh Bashem Yahshai for multiple years, man. Multiple years. 
day in, day out, week in, week out, pushing the word for Yahweh Bashem Shai. But these bitches have the guts to speak up against men that are doing that, man. No respect. You want to slap the shit out of them. But, but because you are in the spirit, you don't do that, man. We can't show ourselves to be carnal, man. We got to stay in the spirit. And we got to realize that, hey, recompense is going to come soon enough, man. Verse 25. But ye have set at naught all my counsel. Who is the counsel of Yahweh Bashem Shai? His men. Ye have set at naught all my counsel. And with none of my reproof. They don't want to listen to the correction of Yahweh Bashem Shai that comes through their men. Because the men be preaching in the highways and byways, right? Saying that if you don't turn from your wickedness, Yahweh Bashem Shai is going to put judgment upon you. If you don't come in order, Yahweh Bashem Shai is going to deal with your behavior, man. They don't want to listen to it, right? They don't want to hear all those things. Well, we're going to see who laughs at the end. But ye have said it not on my counsel, and with none of my reproof, I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. We're going to see who's going to mock. We're going to see who makes the rules. We're going to see where you're going to be at in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. All that stuff is going to be recompensed, man. And you already know that this ain't no verse of the day no more, man. This ain't no verse of the day no more. So let me close it up with the scripture that I intended to, to, uh, to uh, deal with in this lesson. Um, Luke 6 and 22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast your name as evil for the son of man's sake rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy that's what we're going to do man we're going to leap for joy for behold your reward is great in heaven for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets but woe unto you that are rich for ye have received your consolation yeah these people that do these things man that, that talk shit towards you that think they can can just mess you up and uh, trying to trying to f make you feel fucked up like you're not already going through things going through hell those people man y'all bashim y'all shy as a reward for them y'all bashim y'all shy as a reward for them for ye have received your consolation woe unto you that are full for ye shall hunger you want to be you want to be happy now right you just want happiness you just want happiness right well if you desire to have happiness right now check this out man Woe unto you, which woe means destruction. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. And why are ye going to mourn and weep? One of the reasons is because you are proud and arrogant towards the man of the Lord, which is going to be recompensed, regardless how you twist or turn it. So with that, I'm going to say, Call the lawyer, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Shalom to the elect.